All right, now I'm going to press the shut down on both, and then we're going to watch them go. So watch the screen and also watch the power button and get a feel for which one will move quicker. And go. This one's still working at shutting down. At getting okay. SSD one's already shut down. Power lights off. Here goes the hard disk drive one. And it's still going. Still not there yet. Is it amazing the difference that a hard disk drive will make? when you don't have all the spinning and all of that stuff. There we go. Now it's off. Alright, bear with me just a minute. I'm going to set this stuff back up and we'll close out, let you guys um, know what I'm experiencing battery-wise and what I did there, and let you in on a couple of other things. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed these uh, tests that we've been run that I've been running comparing the SSD OQO to the um, hard disk drive version of the OQO. Granted, there's a 100, mega, 100 megahertz difference between the two, but I don't think that's going to make up that big of a difference. I, I think there is a lot of uh, utilization of the CPU that's going in to, um, to account for the speeds in relation to the, the solid state drive. That said, there's also tremendous technology benefits to, um, to using the solid state drive. No moving parts, read and write speeds are faster, all, all of those great things. Now, there are a couple of things that I've wished would have improved with, with the use of the solid state drive. One, the fan noise. Fan noise is still a problem. Um, you heard it on, on the video. Um, sometimes it sounds like a jet taking off. It gets to be annoying, and it and it limits the places. Um, if you want to go into some place quiet, uh, let's say like to a meeting, or um, any type of environment where there's a lot of people around and it's quiet, and you want to use this to take notes, or to just thumb some things and be as quiet as possible, that fan kicks on. Even when it's on the quiet setting, it it starts sounds sounding like it's whistling and um, even even my son asked me what is that noise daddy so well, it's it's the it's the OQO so I was secretly hoping that that was going to help but it didn't um, maybe in future versions of the Model O2 we'll we'll see that improve the second thing that um, I was really hoping to see um, was an instant on um, Granted, the SSD version um, booted up a lot quicker than the hard disk drive version, but still is not instant on. I, I don't know where I've been hearing about SSD drives and instant on and things like that, but I was I was kind of hoping to get even a quicker boot up time than what we saw on this. So that 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 was a slight disappointment. Not great, but slight. Um, still, you, you can't beat the boot up time on this thing, and it's clear from the application loading, um, things move a lot quicker with the solid state drive versus the hard disk drive. So, um, based, on, uh, based on my experience over the past week of using this version, um, I, you know, when it comes to a UMPC, uh, I will always opt to spend the extra money, especially around the $300 to $500 price range to go SSD. Uh, the, the lack of disk space with a 32 gigabyte, you know, this one's got about 16 gig usable right now. Um, I would eat that up pretty quickly. So I would, I'm, I'm looking anxiously toward the 64 gigabyte version coming out um, because that's going to make it to where, you know, you've got 
Google's a, a disk space and it will run fast. But even the 32 gigabyte, smart move. Um, definitely encourage any of the UMPC buyers out there that are looking at a UMPC, strongly consider the SSD drive. I think you'll be quite pleased. Battery life. Um, I ran Battery Eater um, as requested by, by a couple readers and honestly it it would never give me a report. I could never get it to run right and you know it it would take you know, four or five hours for it to run in order to get the battery down. So I was not able to get good numbers on that. My experience uh, over the past several days is that I'm getting anywhere it, it, it ranges, I'm getting anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour of extra battery on the SSD over the hard disk drive, OQO. Something to consider, um, benefits all the way around, and when you consider that uh, you've got a max of one gigabyte of RAM on these things, you're going to look for performance increases wherever you can get them. So, I hope you enjoyed this ink show, comparing these two OQOs together, and I hope it helps you in your decision about what you might want to get, whether the money is worth buying that extra um, disk space and the technology benefit you get there. Again, I invite you to go to techsmith.com, uh, check out Camtasia Studio, and snag it. And also, go to, uh, go to uh, oqo.com and check out their their UMPC tablet PCs, you know, they're active digitizers, so you can write on them um, and not get vectoring, and they're also ultra small. Um, I call this one a, a UMPC all day long. So, you guys have a great day, and thank you so much for visiting God of E Mobile.